Hello everyone, welcome to my video tutorial on how to use the GPS mod version 3.2.1. I will be explaining how to use this mod in a way that makes sense to me, and this tutorial is made up of two videos. In this one I'll go over what the GPS mod is, and the basic functions to use to get started. The second video will cover some more advanced functions. Those ones will be handy to know how to use, but aren't as necessary when completing fieldwork. The GPS mod adds the GPS specialization to all drivable vehicles in the game. Its purpose is to replicate the GPS guidance systems found in most modern agricultural equipment. The GPS mod makes your field work much more efficient because you'll have no overlap between passes, your passes will be perfectly straight, and many vehicles working in the same field can be synchronized. The GPS mod works with any tractor, harvester, implement, or any drivable vehicle or implement with a defined width. You can utilize the GPS by using a number of keyboard controls, or you can use an independent cursor in the HUD. To learn the basic controls, we will only focus on the keyboard controls, which mainly utilize the left control button and the numpad on your keyboard. To get started, turn the GPS on by pressing left control and numpad 0. This will open up a small HUD in the bottom left corner of the screen, or right above the PDA if the PDA is opened. We will go over what some of the values and symbols on this HUD mean later in the tutorial. The first thing we need to do is set our course width, which will be equal to our implement's width. By default, the implement width is set to 6 meters, as you can see on the small HUD here. Your width can be configured manually, but the easiest way is to use the auto set feature, which you can do by pressing left control numpad 3. For this to work properly, your implement must be unfolded and perfectly aligned with the tractor. As you can see on the HUD, our new width is displayed. The course will also be indicated by three or four lines displayed on the ground. The solid green line displays the center of our course, and the dotted red lines define the edges of the course. For most implements, the tractor will follow the green line. Once your width is set, all of your passes will be automatically mapped out. Whichever pass the vehicle is in at any given moment will be the one followed once the GPS is activated. Now that our width is set, we'll line the vehicle up to where it needs to be to get started. By pressing left control, numpad, enter, you can reset your course to wherever your vehicle currently is and in the direction that the vehicle is facing. For most maps, the course can only be set in one of four directions, either straight north and south, like this, straight east and west, or on a 45 degree angle in either direction. Now that our width is set and we have our course aligned with the edge of the field to get started, we're ready to roll. First we'll turn on the implement like we normally would, and we'll press left control W to activate the GPS. When activated, the GPS will automatically steer the vehicle. New to version 3.2.1, the GPS mod will make a single beep when the GPS is activated, and a different beep when it is deactivated as you can hear. Your vehicle does not have to be perfectly aligned with your course to activate. It will automatically steer itself into the pass. The GPS can be activated and deactivated while you are stopped or while moving. When activated, the small satellite dish in the bottom left corner of the HUD 
will display signal waves. The signal waves will disappear when the GPS is deactivated. The GPS can be deactivated by pressing left control and W again, or by steering the tractor in either direction. Now that we have everything set and the GPS is activated, I'll explain a few other values on the small HUD. As mentioned before, the number between the two arrows just above the tractor is our current course width in meters. The number in the bottom right corner of the HUD indicates in meters how far we are from the edge of the field. This is useful for setting up the auto stop and auto turn. These will be explained in the advanced functions video. The number at the top left tells you which pass we are on. The first pass when we set our course will always be zero, and your pass number will increase or decrease in increments of one. The number at the middle left is our number of skip passes. This will also be explained in the second video. Now that we're approaching the end of the field, I will need to lift my implement as usual and deactivate the GPS so I can turn around. Remember, we can deactivate the GPS by pressing left control W or simply by steering the tractor in either direction. Notice that as I turn around, our next pass is already aligned where it needs to be. All I have to do is activate the GPS again, and we're good to go. As you can see on the small HUD, we are now in, on pass number negative one and the counter in the bottom right has reset to tell us how far from the edge of the field we are. Once we've created our first course, which we did when we began by setting the width and aligning our first pass, all of the other passes are automatically mapped out as I showed you earlier. This means we can also skip passes, which can be useful with smaller implements or in certain multiplayer situations. We can open up the second, larger HUD by pressing left control, numpad delete. This larger HUD has many features, all of which can be utilized by using the independent cursor, which can be activated by holding left control while both HUDs are open. The large HUD cannot be opened if the PDA is displayed. Most of the features in the large HUD, large HUD will be covered in the next video, but here we will go over the load save feature. You can save your GPS settings to different slots. Since we are working in field number one, I will save my settings to slot number one. Your current selected slot is displayed by the number here, and you can toggle them using the plus and minus buttons here. New to version 3.2.1, you can also save names to courses. Once you hit the Save Course button here, all of your on-screen HUDs will disappear and you can type in a name and press Enter. You can skip this just by pressing Enter. So now that we have our settings saved, if another tractor comes to this field, or if I need to do another job and return to the field later, I can load my settings from slot 1 so my GPS will be set exactly the same way. As you can see here, if another player pulls into the field, all I need to do is turn my GPS on, 
open up my larger HUD, make sure slot number one is selected, and click the load button on the top left. Now I have the exact same GPS settings as the other tractor. You can tell if there's a GPS core saved to a slot because the number will appear in bold. Alternatively, I can also drive next to the vehicle that I want to copy the GPS settings from and click the Copy from Neighbor button in the basic section of the large HUD. This will copy the GPS settings from the nearest vehicle and apply them to yours. Now that we know all of the basics, we can go over a few ways to toggle the user interface. By pressing left control numpad delete, we can toggle between having the small HUD displayed, having both HUDs displayed, or having no HUD displayed. Remember that the large HUD cannot be displayed if the PDA is open. You can also toggle between three different settings with the lines displayed on the ground. By clicking this button here under the basic section, we can elevate the lines from the ground. This can be useful when working in crop, as the lines can be difficult to see directly on the ground through the foliage. Clicking this button again will remove the lines altogether, and clicking it a third time will restore the lines to being displayed on the ground. Another feature that is new to version 3.2.1 is that the GPS will double beep when you approach the end of the field. It will beep when you are approximately 20 meters from the field edge. Watch the distance counter down here and listen for the beep. As an alternative to using the keyboard, all of the basic functions can also be used by using the independent cursor on the large HUD. You can set your width by using the three buttons here under the work width section. The plus and minus buttons will increase or decrease your working width, and the button with the A will auto set your width, as we did earlier by pressing left control numpad 3. You can also activate and deactivate the GPS by clicking the satellite button here under the basics section. The new button will reset your course to where your vehicle currently is. We did this earlier by pressing left control and numpad enter. The rest of the functions here will be covered in the advanced tutorial. Click the link in the description to view and thank you for watching.